Hi there. This is another Hammond organ from back in the day, an original tone wheel full console Hammond. This is a model H112 and I've fully restored it. I've changed well over a hundred components, uh, everything that could need changing and probably quite a few things that didn't I've replaced. And of course that brings it right up back to original spec. Also renewed a few things as well like uh, the music rest light and the light under here which wasn't original. Uh, these are all replaced with LED so they don't get warm, they don't make any noises now uh, and every part of it's working really well. And in addition I have wired this with its own custom made three channel Leslie speaker. All made from original Leslie components this speaker has got three channels so often in jazz music people like to put two Leslie 122s together to get that sound of them interfering. Well inside this cabinet uh, is, is the equivalent of that. Uh, inside, I'll just show you, inside here in the top we've got uh, two horns running at different speeds, very slightly. I've also got a bass rotor and I've also incorporated a rotosonic drum too to give slightly more thickness in the mood range. So this has got five speaker units in, in total, running from the three valve amplification channels in the Hammond organ console, completely switchable. And I'll show you how it sounds as well. So the H112 was Hammond's flagship at the, flagship at the time. Uh, this is the original owner's manual actually, and uh, you'll look as handsome and erudite as that when you're sitting playing one. Um, the Model H has everything which a B3 or a C3 has, and some other stuff too. So there's a full range of drawbars, two for each manual, but not only nine, in fact there's actually extra two drawbars for each manual on the top, one extra one on the bottom, and there's four for the pedal instead of two. So all the ones you know, plus a few extra ones. In percussion terms, this has been modified to have third and second percussion, just like a B3 or a C3, but you've got lots of other percussions as well. You've even got a harp sustain function. Um, it's got string bass if you wish to use it. There's a brush and cymbal effect, which I think is awful to <laughs> avoid that. Built-in reverb. Um, you've got chorus vibrato, the same as on a B3 or C3, but the scanner runs in stereo. So you can actually have a stereo effect too, and I'll show you that in a moment. Right, so if you're used to Hammond, you'll be used to this. So you can get the, the classic kind of sound, you know, the, the Leslie switch is now incorporating the organ. And of course the drawbars let you change the sound as you wish. through the internal speakers because it's interesting to show you the uh, the dual integral chorus vibrato so that's all running through the Leslie speaker here let's just have a quick uh, shot of the Leslie speaker so all Leslie components in a custom made double case internal speakers. This switch here does Leslie speed just like you'd expect but it's integral to the organ now and it's got a stop position too. If you like that uh, uh, jazzy kind of sound where Leslie stopped. Deep bass there. Get the real valve distortion if you want it but you've got the slow chorale speed too. And you can listen to it ramping up. But you can 
also play through the internal speakers. Flick this switch, and we're on the internal speakers. You can have it completely dry. But listen to it with the Celeste scanner, which gives it that Leslie sound. sound with full reverb and all three sorts of vibrato all running together. Let's go back to the Leslie, which I think is, uh, is where it's at really, isn't it? So let's talk you through some other features. You've got the preset keys, just the same as on any A A100, B3, C3 Hammond and the A sharp or B flat and the B preset do the adjusters on both manuals, just as you'd expect. And this has got the theater kind of specs. You've got the sort of tibia sound. Um, you've got the box and tibia sound there. It sounds better with the Leslie. <laughs> More of a solo stop. This can do the, the kind of uh, uh, sort of uh, very classic jazz kind of sound if you wanted. No problem. On the pedals, you've got the two standard drawbars, the brown ones, 16 and 8. You've also got these ones which give a more reedy sound. You can combine them in any proportion sound really distorted if you want that really growly tone um, so you can actually play all kinds of things on this um, the extra draw bars let me tell you what they do so if you've got a classic kind of tibia sound going on here like this Let's have a bit of um, that you just can't get with a, a C3 or a B3. The person who used the H series a lot was uh, Klaus Wunderlich before he moved on to Versi uh, transistor organs. Klaus Wunderlich's first records were made on one of these. Without a Leslie speaker, he just used the integral speakers uh, for his sound. He was happy with it like that. You know. It's quite satisfying just through its own speakers. But that sound of the Leslie speeding up and, and slowing down is a very particular tone, which you know is it's, it's a nice sound to have.
adjust the gain on all three channels of this Leslie separately in the back of the organ, uh, A channel, the B channel and the bass channel, so you can really balance that to suit the room and it, it gives you the effect of two full Leslie speakers in one and all running direct off the 50 watt valve amplification inside this organ itself. Uh, what else can I show you? Well, I mean, we've got uh, harp sustain if you want that kind of Christmassy sound. Um, and all sorts of other, <laughs> all sorts of other um, uh, chimey and, uh, and uh, bell-like sounds. Some of them are better than others. But happily you've got third and second percussion here if that's all you want. If you want to play with these other sounds, uh, some of the cinema kind of sounds you can, you can get from this are rather fun. <laughs> String bass, probably best avoid. Just uh, gives you that bit of sustain, a bit like a bass guitar. And you can connect other speed cabinets to it too. It's got uh, dual spring line reverberation in here. So you can play it completely straight. Or with one, two, 